During the deployment, the Guardsmen were able to assist with rebuilding roads damaged by September flooding in the Lyons and Estes Park area of Colorado. The engineering specialists were also able to utilize a Guardsman's specialized civilian experience to build a retaining wall used to support a highway off-ramp. In this situation, we have an airman that uh, has a, uh, a business on the side um, where he actually does landscape design, landscape um, construction, and so he's building a retaining wall here um, uh, using that skill set. The project required the Guardsmen to stack boulders on top of one another in sort of a puzzle-like fashion. Heavy equipment operators using excavators had to gauge the size of each rock prior to placing them into the retaining wall. A flowable sealing material was then poured into the crevices between the rocks. I came down here and did a site visit and I knew right away that it was something that, that, that I could handle and that the 219th Red Horse could accomplish. In the flood damage location, the river had breached its banks and was running far from its normal channel. The flooding destroyed home foundations located near the original river. The guardsmen planned on returning the river to its original banks to allow homeowners to reclaim their property. They are confident that the Colorado residents appreciate the contribution that the 219th Red Horse Squadron members made to rebuilding flood damaged roads in their communities. We know that this could happen in our communities back home. We love to jump in, get our hands dirty and get the job done, help the people out that need to have it done. Maybe someday they'll come in and help my community out. It's, it's what Guard family is all about. The deployed leadership was satisfied that the members of the 219th Red Horse Squadron did their best in their effort to fix broken roads to help bring back a sense of normalcy to the residents of Colorado affected by the flooding. In Great Falls, Montana, this is Senior Master Sergeant Eric Peterson reporting.